So, hey YouTubers, I'm back. I am here to make a tutorial uh, from a uh, video I did on how to export songs from Ableton Clip Session View. Uh, let me go here and I'll show you actually I'm in this one right here. How to export songs from Ableton Clip Session View with Click and Q Track. All right, um, and right here Sebastian left me a comment saying that he couldn't see his click track and couldn't figure out how to export his click track. So I'm assuming he's probably ha he's not getting tracks from us. He's actually doing his own tracks where he's using the click track uh, metrodome in Ableton. Right here, let me bring up my little face up in the corner. Why? I'm back. <clears throat> and he doesn't have a click track. He's using this click track right here that comes with Ableton. So I just do a backing track in here and I muted our click track that actually comes in our sessions. So you can hear that. And I'm gonna show you how to build a click track that you can export. So if you're actually in Ableton um, to answer Sebastian's question here and you have your own song, but you're using the click track that comes in Ableton, which is this one right here, Intro, breakdown, three, four. You, of course, won't have the Q track, so mute the Q track out. But, and you're trying to figure out a way how to export this click along with your clips. Um, so it's a full song, but we actually have the click track too. Uh, Ableton, you know, I, I never use this click, so I'm, maybe there might be a way to route it to uh, actually get the click track to come out with it but I don't know how to do that, so I'm not gonna show you that way. I'm gonna show you the way you can actually build your own click track that'll match. So if you're doing what Sebastian's and he's actually using the click in Ableton, then I'm assuming your songs probably already line up the grid. Um, so if I take these, this song, and I drag it over into Live View and put them in there, you can see that my uh, stuff, let me unmute the click track lines up on the grid and so to use MIDI to make your own uh, click track in there you really want it to line up on the grid you can do it with if it doesn't line up on the grid you just kind of kind of float them around yourself but this way I'm assuming he's trying to export it by using Ableton's click that his songs already line up on the grid because it'd have to to match along with Ableton's click. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your tempo is the right tempo that you play. So the best way to do that is if you're in clip mode, rename this to whatever you want to name it, you know, song. The tempo of this song is 104 and it lines up right up on the grid. So song, whatever. And just even if you don't put the, the song title name, let me get rid of my mug here. So even if you don't put the song title name on that line, you want to make sure you put the the, the time signature. So not time signature. You want to make sure you put the BPM. So you're going to put, I'm going to put 104 BPM. And that way, because if you have another song here, let's say this is 120 BPM, right? If I click on this, it changed my time, um, my BPM over here to 120. So I want this song to play at the right tempo. So that's why I named it, and then put the 104 at the at the at the at the end of it. And you want the 104 or the BPM at the very end, and you want it to say the the time signature 104, not time signature, the BPM. You want it to have the correct BPM, and then worth BPM after it. Because if you just put 104 and you click on it, it's not gonna change it to 104. You wanna put 104 BPM or 120 BPM or 130 BPM, um, because that's how Ableton works. And uh, you can also put the time signature, signature there too. So if I wanted to go, you know, if I wanted this to be eight, um, like, you know, I don't know. Uh, so it's right now it's four, four. So if I went four, four, it would, it would make sure that this is four, four. But if I went like, uh, one this at like three four you know if I went song three four one oh four BPM now if I click on that you can see it changes to three four uh, time signature but we want that at four four so 
I'm going to change it back to 4-4 four, four, so it changes back this to 4-4. Four, four. But if you're, everything's in 4-4 four, four anyhow, you don't even need to worry about that. You can just take that off. Just make sure that this is 4-4 four, four and your Metrodome is turned off. So we're going to unhighlight that. Bring my mug back up so you can see my beautiful mug. And we're going to click on a, a MIDI track. If you don't have a MIDI track and it's gone, just go over here to Create. And we are going to create MIDI. And I'm move it way over here to the right. And rename that to Click. Click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And we are going to go to an instrument. And we're going to grab a drum rack. And we're going to pull it in there to the MIDI. And now you have a drum rack, you know, um, in here. And then we got to do is got to put some samples in here. So we're going to put a, we're going to put our metrodome samples in here. So if you like the metrodome sound in uh, Ableton and you like this sound right here, this, you can um, you can e you can easily get to that those 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 samples. And I'll leave a description of the path. On a Mac, on a PC, uh, I'm sure it's the same kind of way, but I'm not quite sure where it's at. Okay, so basically, you do is call up Fire to Window, go to Applications, go to your Ableton 10 or like 9.5 or whatever you're using, but 10. He, uh, Sebastian's using 10, so I'm showing him in 10, and then right click on 10 and just show Show uh, Package Content, and then Package Content. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go. You're gonna, it's gonna look like this when you open it up. You're gonna click on uh, content, you're gonna click on uh, app resources, and then you go on miscellaneous, then metrodome, samples. Okay, and then samples, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, see which one this is. That's the downbeat, and that's the one. So we're gonna take the one, we're gonna drag it over here to C1, drop it in. And then we're going to take the three, uh, two, three, and four, and we're going to drop that into uh, the C number one. So now we have our our metrodome in there. All right. Then we're going to do is we're going to click over here, and we're going to click on insert. We're going to we're going to right click on in, inside the the click uh, right along long lines of the the song is in and we're going to click insert MIDI clip and then right here you can see our two metrodomes we're going to inside this area we're going to right click and we're going to make sure that that's on quarter notes and so now we have a one loop clip that is uh, in quarter notes and we're going to double click add one there 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 and then it's in loop, so now it'll just it'll loop that. So it's still not going when it exports. If you export that, it's only going to export a four count. So the best way to do that is to either take this over and hit uh, click on that, and then go all the way down to your last last uh, song in your line hold down sh uh, hold down shift on your keyboard and click on that so it highlights all of them and then go back over to your click which is this one now all these are highlight and hold down your mouse and then hit the tab key and it'll flip it over to this thing and then lay that track right on your top click track so I grabbed it from the click track on this side and I'm going to lay it in the click track on this side. And then I'm going to turn this little button off so it activates this side. And you can see there's my four count click. But if I play it on this side, it's letting it go. Whoops, I have the metronome up here. So if I. And I have these backwards, so I actually want to put this one down here and these up here. Turn this up so you can hear it. So, 
All right, so I'm gonna bring this whole thing up so you can hear a little louder. See how it stops? But we're in loop, so we're good there. So all you do is go up here and grab this and pull it, and it'll automatically loop that and just pull it to the whole length of your song. So I'm gonna pull it all the way down to where it stops at the end of the song. I have to go here and figure out we want that click to stop. Like I want it to stop right there, so it's gonna go. Okay, so now that we now that we've made it the length of our song, we're gonna right click on that and we are gonna to go to consolidate. And now it's made that whole clip not loop anymore. Turn the loop off if I click on it. And you can see the loops off and the click is the length of our song. So now if I Okay, so it made it the whole length of our song. And then all we have to do is, because it's already over there on the other side, is just click on the top clip on the very top up here and hit the tab key because we're only taking the one track over. And we're going to drop that right back here on the click. So now you can see that click is the length of our song. So now if I click on here, and you can see now that now the click track is the whole length. You have your own little click here. The Metrodome from Ableton is not on, that's on now, it's off. So now if I turn this, hit play here, and I turn this click off, you don't hear a click anymore. So now if I wanna export these as stems with the click, what I do is I just click on the top clip up here, on the top track up here, go all the way over to where um, I don't have any more audio tracks, hold down shift, highlight all those. If you have some of these tracks that you don't need to export, just um, hit, uh, um, hit, uh, hit command and then click the name of that track and it'll deselect those. So now I just have, you can see the blue ones are selected. So now if I click the song play one more time. All right, now then I'll we'll do, then what I do to export all the stems in this mode with a click, I go to file and export audio video. And then right here, I wanna change this from master to selected tracks only. And I click, and then make sure that my settings here are right. For uh, 44, 100, I want, um, I want wave. This is exported as MP3, but I want, I want to export as wave. So I'll click on wave. I want wave at 16 bit. And, um, or if you want MP3s and you have, uh, and you have Ableton 10, then you can click on MP3. <laughs> but anyhow, I want, I want wave. So I'm gonna click export. I'm gonna select where to go to. For right now, I'm just gonna go to desktop. And I'm gonna put a test folder. Test, great, and I'll call this song Samp. And I'll click save. Now it's gonna export each individual track. Sorry if I'm chewing on gum. I quit smoking eight months ago and this is Nicorette gum and I live on this shit. But anyhow, now if I go to my desktop and I look at test, test, you can see my songs are coming in, bass, backup vocals, drums, guitar. See what I mean? So there you go. Now all my songs are in here. Here's my click. If I click on my click by itself, you can see this. the song length is four minutes and 30, or four minutes and 43 seconds. So that's a click by itself. And you export the clip. Now if I call these all in, and say I go right here, and there if I hit 
uh, command, it'll make them all go sideways. And I'll play this. Now you can see here's my click. All right, so that's how you, if you can export a click on your own songs, uh, if, you don't, if you're using the Ableton click and um, you can't figure out how to route it, that's how you can do it. But you can also say you don't like that tone. So you can go back over here to click, double click on that clip to where you see the, the Metrodome. And now that you already have the MIDI in, you can go over here and you can go to samples and you can find, you know, anything you want or you can download wave samples or a or AIF samples offline, you know, say you just want a hi-hat, you can just grab this hi-hat, drop it in here and you want this to be your other one. So now if I click on that, That's my click tone, or I can go. So anyhow, you, you get the idea. You can pretty much change the tone to whatever you want. But if you want the Ableton tones, that's where you get them from is that file I showed you. And um, anyhow, hope that helps. Turn this off. Hope that helps. And hope that answer your, your question, Sebastian. And I hope I'm getting your name right because I am the world's worst pronouncer of names. But anyhow. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hopefully we'll see you in the next tutorial. Make sure you go over and check out my band's uh, YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com forward slash FOJCTV. And if you need backing tracks, go to uh, backingtrackscustom.com, and that link is in the description. All right, we'll see you next time. Action.